My name is Von Derek Knight. I'm 18. I go to Charlotte High School, and today my topic is on fatherhood. Um, what I define as a father is um, a, a very strong, you know, male character that takes responsibility for his children. That always be there, put food on the table, clothes on their back, and um, I just wanted to um, talk about this topic because it is very strong because we see a lot of African Americans not taking care of their responsibilities and you see a lot of Hispanic people not taking care of their responsibilities too and you see mostly a lot of guns and drugs they children want to grow up to be the stuff that they see on TV I interviewed a couple of people and peace out I'm off. define what is a father Father, God, father would just—I can't really explain that. Father would just be like a father to some, to some kid, really. Uh, father, person that's you know, send their son's life, a son or daughter's life, you know, not financially, but you know, emotionally too. What's the difference between a father and a dad? You know, I guess probably a dad. You know, that's a hard question. Probably a father, somebody that's there, you know, constantly. Probably a dad's there, like every once in a while. It's like with the father, he'll tell you something, but instead of you learning the hard way, you know, you can, he'll have you prepare for stuff. Because you, know? you know, people grow up without fathers, you know, they usually end up in prison or, you know, doing stupid things. Why do you think fathers back down from their responsibilities? Maybe because they didn't have fathers, you know? They didn't have anybody to tell them what, what to do and st stuff like that, so they didn't really have nothing to lean back on. Do you have a relationship with your father? No. And why, why not? Because he's been gone since three. I was three. Um, how, how has that affected you, you know, coming up? Nothing really, because I had a step that who replaced him, so. Well, because I, I can see, I see everybody else, you know, with their fathers. They could talk about them seeing their fathers, and I'm, I like, yo, Jamar, where your father at? I don't know. So that's kind of, that'd be kind of hard. So when they had them conversations, I just try to lay back and just listen. Yeah, do what I do. They just don't think sometimes. So they just back down because they're like, oh, man, I got a kid coming in my life. I got to stay committed to this kid. I got to stay committed to this girl. You know what, I, I can't handle this, man. I gotta relocate, I, that ain't my baby. And they start denying it, and they ain't trying to, you know, change up their life for some for somebody. You know, some men, you know, they ain't ready to be fathers. And they won't own up to that responsibility. As you can see, the fact that um, fatherhood is kind of rough for these young men out here because they, they go down the wrong road, they ain't got nobody to look up to, they, they only lean on their mom when they need them and the father figure is not there because they, they don't want to deal with their kids. And we really ain't got no positive role models these days.